14 advanced acting majors in Memorial High School's Performing Arts Academy in West New York began the process of writing their own play last June. Now, months later, 24-7 will debut on Thursday night, February 8th. The level. Um, we explore themes, ideas, um, characters that we might want to pay attention to. And then over the summer, we do homework and research and decide what our play is going to be about. Um, this year, the play is called 24-7. It is about the cyclical nature of our lives, that it's messy, life is messy, that it goes round and round, the good and the bad, and yet we have to keep living. So tomorrow's another day, and tomorrow's another day. So we see these people grappling with really mature themes and trying to find a way to move forward in their relationships and move on. Being that, being that the students are the ones that, that wrote this, right. does that make it more difficult for you during the acting process, or does it make it easier because it's something that came from all of your, quote unquote, from all of your hearts putting this together? Well, what's the difference in, in actually writing, you know, the, the production yourselves? Well, uh, I wrote and I'm playing my character, so for me it was, like, I, I already understood the character, but for my classmates, um, I, it was challenging for them because they didn't write it, but uh, as actors, we, we, we we're supposed to like know and learn our material. So I think it, it was a challenge, but we got it. The kids have written this play entirely. They are guided by a uh, writing facilitator, Charlotte Colovin, who is remarkable. She's a professional playwright. They spend about eight weeks writing scenes. And then we refine and refine and refine until we come to um, now casting it so they have to give up their scripts to another actor and that's another part of the process and then we finally put it on the stage we started rehearsing in January and we're going to be presenting it this coming weekend. The Performing Arts Academy has won several awards from Montclair State for this writing process for innovation and pushing the envelope in high school theater. In addition to Ms. Bauer, you have you had the assistance of a professional artist here. Correct. What was that like? It was amazing getting a second input from a real life worker. Um, she is amazing. She knows what is She knows what's good to write. She would tell us, and she would ask us questions to get very much deep into our character, which helped us a lot in the writing process. So we were able to answer questions, not only for the character we were writing, but for the character that we were playing. Well, actually, our initial concept was for it to be about growing up. But throughout the process, um, we all kind of, what we did is that we separated out into duos. And we kind of wrote the scenes like ourselves. And then we eventually put them together. And when Miss Beth and Miss Charlotte put them together, they decided that um, there can't be one central theme to this because it's really all about life, not just growing up, because growing up is a part of life. So we decided to really try to kind of show more about the messiness of life. And so we kind of divoted away from the original idea. Uh, when you come to this production, you see that these are high schoolers that are writing stories, stories that you know you would maybe think that were written by uh, older playwrights. So I think it's important to understand that this is high schooler material and this comes from you know just 17, 16, 18 year olds. So really keep that in mind. The play has mature themes and language and is not intended for young children. Performances are at 7 p.m. on February 8th, 9th, and 10th with a 2 p.m. show also on Saturday the 10th. Tickets are $5 at the door. In West New York, for HUD News, I'm Jeff Hennig.